I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. This is fantastic, fantastic monument in memory of Christopher Columbus. There's one story about Christopher Columbus. When he embarked on this voyage to discover America, even though America had been exist in existence, that's why one reggae mister, one reggae musician said, Christopher Colombo, damn, damn blaster liar, <laughs> said he discovered America, America had been there. So look at this mighty statue is in, in his memory. But there's a story about Christopher Colombo. He embarked on this voyage and then um, the crew, his crew members, members in the team, decided to revolt against him. That um, they were tired, they were not seeing any land, but he was looking for the sea route to India, really. But he, he told them that, don't revolt against me. If in three days' time we don't see land, then we will turn back. And so in three days' time, they saw land, and that land turned to be the United States of America. Sometimes, like in your house, you will be looking for one thing that is lost. You come and stumble on another thing that you didn't know was there, that you had been missing. So Christopher Columbus was looking for the sea route to India, but he stumbled on America. I think it was better for him to stumble on America. But you see, learn this thing. Don't get discouraged. Sometimes the darkest hour is just before dawn. Sometimes it is when you are closest to your testimony that you get people who want to discourage you. Sometimes it is when your breakthrough is near that you feel discouraged. When you feel like stopping, just push a little bit further. You will see that God will do great things in your life. Just look at these monumental buildings here. These are giant structures. The, I respect the artworks in Africa, like the Benin, um, uh, the Benin mask, the Festac mask, and all the things that were done in Igun Street. But I also appreciate this architectural artworks, the attention to details, and the attempt to depict uh, history. Look at and the preservation as the well. The preservation as well. The efforts. Look, look at that boat. Look at this. So I feel busy looking up, and uh, it brings a lot of um, revenue and tourism. Look at, look this way. Just look at a sea of human beings. A sea of human beings. Just there. And uh, there is a cable car. Look at that. Yeah. We can't, we can't do that, Abby. Yeah, cable car and helicopter ride. Helicopter? No, 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 no. <laughs> so, for my, leave me not into this. I come here to talk of helicopter ride. I can't uh, enter helicopter. <laughs> Boat, we we'll enter boat. Uh, cable car, we we'll enter cable car. So we'll go to cable car. Yeah. Uh, I know you like that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I fear heights, <laughs> but we we'll go and do it. So we are in Barcelona, and we are having a good time. Look at the museum, maritime museum of Barcelona is there. Uh, the Naval do Catalunya is also here. And uh, so many beautiful structures and people milling around. These are trips you should make in a lifetime. Uh, one of my subscribers is here and is uh, going to meet us in this place. So, look at another beautiful structure here. Look at my what do you have to say? Uh, There's an underground tour. I, I, I don't want to go to underground. I have, I, I have claustrophobia. So, what do, you, what do you have to say? It's just, uh, just amazing. I like the fact that they put in effort to preserve this and uh it brings in a lot of people yes yes it's exciting and then oh boy this is beautiful i'm happy i made this trip to barcelona uh, when we come next time we might visit other cities but this is good i remain your friend dr charles apoki when you hear christopher colombo start thinking about influence and we're going to talk about becoming a person of influence on the 8th and on the 9th of um, November. Send a message to plus 234-80-2121-9262. Remember, send it via WhatsApp. I remain Dr. Charles Apoki. 
and we are having a good time. God bless you. And why, why do you think, one question, why do you think they, they built several um, like businesses around uh, something as monumental as this? Was it strategic? Was it um, intentional? Like it, you see cable cars, you see boat rides, you, you see... see it, it's, there's one principle that I have shared. Audience and crowd carry money. Money is an idiot. It is in the pockets of people. So when you attract people, they carry money. Then, once you do... But, uh, ju just on that point, like we came here just to see the monument, but, but now we now see we saw cable cars, cars, we saw boat rides. Like, like what I discovered in uh, running the school business, school, people came for academics. They came to learn. But they will eat, so we have a canteen. They, ha they will enter buses, so we have the bus system. They will do several things. So as long as you have the seed business, you must try to do fruit businesses from the seed around it. And that's how to do business. So you, 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 you look for what people want, and if, then you create some that the people will like, and then you will make money. That's it. And uh, the inspiration I'm getting here, that's school we wanted to build in a front of. The best thing is, apart from being a school, apart from Dr. Poki being a, a crystal that people will want to 